Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can store virtually any type of electronic information in a notebook, including text, graphics, photos, web pages, audio clips, video clips, Excel spreadsheets, and even hyperlinks. When you insert content into your OneNote notebook pages, each piece of information exists within what's called a note container. A note container consists of a frame with a move handle and a resizing handle. Each object you place within the note container, such as your text or images, has an object selector. The frame of the active note container will be visible, but the frames around the other containers on the page are not. Hovering your mouse over a container will display its frame. Hovering your mouse over the content of a note container will display the object's selector, which we discuss later. To insert the first note container on a page, simply click on the page in the location where you want the container to appear. Now after the first container is created, you can add other containers with text by simply clicking where you want the container and start typing. You will then see the new note container appear. Now the most basic and common type of information that can be entered into a container is text. You can enter text by typing it directly into the container or by pasting it from a different source. As you type, OneNote will automatically grow the container vertically to accommodate the information. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'll just start typing this out and you'll see that as I'm typing the note container is expanding out to adjust for the size. Now you can adjust the container horizontally by hovering your mouse over the right side of the container until you see a double arrow appear. Then you just click and drag when you see that arrow to grow the container horizontally. And we can drag it back just as easily. Now you can also move the container to another location on the page by hovering your mouse over the top edge of the container until you see a four-sided arrow appear. Then just click on that arrow and drag to move the container to your new desired location and when it's there just release and it'll be in its new location. So you can feel free to move these around on the page wherever you like by clicking and dragging like that. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.